Hello and welcome to another video. So today I have a speedrun of the mission The Dark Beyond, the first mission on the moon. We gave up the moon to keep the hive away from Earth. We hoped that would be enough for them. I used to look up here at night and wonder what the Hive were doing, but the only activity I could ever pick up was hazy, like it was blocked or buried. So, I ended up using that heavy ammo as a test to see if I could spawn in more heavy ammo. It didn't work, which is a shame, I ended up wasting more glimmer, because Joe won't sell. Uh, heavy ammo since anymore for some whatever reason. Hopefully he does tomorrow though. So anyway, into the mission. As soon as it loads up, I will summon my vehicle and get away as quickly as possible. But he just disappeared. I know getting a bit distracted there. So it was a late turn. I only lost like a quarter of a second there. So it's meaningless. So here this can get quite nasty and crash, lose a lot of time, so just make sure like, like I did there. So I just make sure I uh, navigate through there, the using minimal ghost. time, jump over, and start deploying the ghost as soon as possible. Now here it doesn't really matter what speed you leave the building, it's still based on his dialogue. However, there'll be a spawn right here, so I'll hope to mop them up as quickly as possible. Here we are, throw our grenade, and gun them down with the bad juju. We're being I cannot wait for the pulse rifle buff. That is going to be amazing. How have they not done it yet? Come on, Bungie. I want my pulse rifle bus. buff. Buff. Bus. Bus. Yes, bus. Buff. Whatever. So I didn't know quite who to shoot there, but I ended up gunning down those dregs. I give up on that dreg just because he's being annoying. Um, I'll get back to him. Punch the dreg. Gun down the captain. And then the rest of the dreg are really cooperative, actually. He peeps out as soon as I go hunting for him, and he leaves cover as soon as I go hunting for him, so that was very quick there. Usually they hang around behind pillars, being really awkward to take down. So there I was just checking to make sure my LMG is loaded, since we'll be using that in a minute. And we don't have time to reload it between now and then. So here I'm just kind of dodging. Usually I shoot the guns off with the sniper rifle, but I didn't this time. No one this group, however, the two dreg landed a bit further away, but managed to gun them down nice and quickly. And here we just do a bit of horizontal blinking to cross as quickly as possible. Talk to the LNG and gun down the uh, captain and the servitor. And then use the bad juju to mop up the dreg before, the, before they enter the complex pillars, which you really, really do not want. That is bad because it ends up wasting 15, 20 seconds because they are so annoying. But either way, manage to uh, mop that up, clear out, and get on the sparrow and away. Run over the vandal, just to make sure. And here it's just basically taking the straightest line possible. I don't go over that little jump thing which you'd normally do on, say, a tumbler, because it slows you down. This is where he was headed. Now here I don't have any uh, more boost, so I can't like jump left or right, which is what I would do if I were to cut up uh, on the left hand side there. But that tends to throw you off randomly, so I went the Looks long like way around. Let's see what he left behind. So here it's just jump off, deploy the ghost, ignore the dregs, and then get back on the sparrow. And I just took the quickest exit, which is actually the long way. However, it doesn't really matter. You it allows you to cut through this little complex nice and quick. If you were to cut through the shorter, it might send you off and you like, might get stuck on terrain, so... Here is hollowed out for the are all about even speed, so it doesn't matter what exit you take out of that building. Now you can drive up that little bit of the uh, rock to get the sparrow into this area nice and easily. Crash the sparrow there, but I managed to jump out and blink and land right on top of the uh, body of the Guardian. And then is just waiting for a cutscene. There's also a sword there, if you didn't notice, but you can't pick it up, which is saddening. Just thought I'd point that out. There's nothing left. Not even the light. Where is this ghost? to move 
Okay, we will not be moving back. We'll be running forward, as we do not want to waste much time on the Thrall and Acolyte. However, you do have to kill a certain amount in order to progress. Destiny loading screens. We've woken the hive. Anyway, as soon as it spawns us in, we run forward, throw a grenade to stop them from moving forward. And we get them all in a Nova Bomb. I need to make sure I kill as many Acolytes as possible, really, just to make sure the mission pushes. That should be enough. I'm picking up the dying light of the ghost. And it was. Inside. Just going down the rest of the Acolytes here. We're waiting on a wizard to spawn. And here it is. Wait a second to make sure it's not invincible. Blow it up and immediately summon the dead ghost. And it doesn't give you a prompt until you clear out the room, but you, you're still allowed to wake it. And that triggers the mission end screen as soon as possible, which is what you want to be doing. It's done Void Walker set up. The same as always. Bad Juju LDR against all lords. Death Singer's gear and the Obsidian Mind. So yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get one of these out last week. However, I will be getting the two of them out this week to account for it. That dying light was just an experiment, and I didn't have any destiny footage with me. Sorry, but yep, dying light will probably not return to my channel, which is saddening. But I think destiny's better. <laughs> so, Dark Beyond, 4 minute 8 with 49 kills, that was the quickest I could get, I was hoping for still 4 minute, but it didn't happen, however, thank you for watching, see you next time.